Hello, Skullgirls fans! This is Shadow 3 with the new patch! Well, for retail, I've been playing on beta for the longest time, so honestly, it's gonna be about the same for me, except without Beowulf, who I don't use because that DLC has not been released yet, sadly. Unless someone wants to play on beta, in which case it won't matter, because then we'll have Beowulf and 60% of RoboFortune. So, anyway, I'm just gonna be playing some quick matches, because that's the thing I do. It's this training diary ish thing that I do Friday evenings from time to time. And that's what's going to happen. Unless someone wants to play Lobby, in which case that will happen instead, because Lobby's more fun. Anyway, let us begin. Now, I do not play Beowulf. I don't really play many grapplers. I know I play Fuqua, but... Yeah. Just don't... Take that as grapplers. I don't really play grapplers. So, let's... Let's start... Looks like I will be fighting against... Oh, nice, Makoto Fortune. One of the new colors. They have added new colors in this patch as well. One of them being Makoto from Blaze Blue, which I actually... I've only played a bit of, honestly. I played quite a lot of Guilty Gear, but only played a bit of Blaze Blue when they released it on Steam, because it wasn't... Honestly, I don't have any other way I would play it. And none of my friends are really playing it. Ow. Why do I keep doing that down to four? I, I have this bad habit of... Oops. I have this really bad habit of doing that, where I do part of the... Oh. Crap, I forgot to set my new assists. That's bad. I mean, not that the rest of my play has been particularly good, but... Certainly forgot to set the rest of my assists, so that's... Gonna be a problem, but yeah, anyway. I have played Blaze Blue a bit because of the Steam release. That's about all I've... Ah, crap. That's about all I've played of it, because, like I said, it's not something my friends played, nothing I had really a console for, so it's not something that really came up, but I have played it. It's actually pretty good. I do find that Continuum Shift is a bit clunky in the Guilty Gear. Chrono Phantasma looks about the same pace as Axon Core, but at the same time, I can't play that, so I actually don't know. I'm going off of videos, because no Steam release. I really wish there was, but I... I pressed buttons. <sighs> I had no easy way of getting out of that. Oh well. So anyway. Let's go on to the next game, which will... Oh. This is gonna be interesting. i played this guy before, actually. Oops. They're quite good. I'm probably gonna lose. Yeah, timing. Pretty good player. Can't remember who they play though. I wanna say Valentine's involved, but that's just because I'm kind of used to the idea that high level players play Valentine. Looks like a nope. scratching. Fortune Philia. Ladies and gentlemen, it's this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> ah crap. <laughs> Thankfully, I actually made Philia have her up to a bit less oppressive. It comes, well, up to assist is coming out of the right place now. Ah. Push block, guard cancel. I need to do that more often, too. I was actually doing that setting I was playing the other day. Ah, shoot. Oh, right, I gotta set my new assist. My Fuqua assist is not invincible anymore, the drill, so I can't use it. Well, I can use it, but it's not a DP assist, so I've just been using... I'm using her medium kick shadow, which is an anti-air. Yeah, I figured that would happen. Also, like I said, I need to change my assist. I'm so used to my beta assist. Ah, one sec. Oh, what? Right, I gotta do it this way. Oops. No, wait, I actually... They fixed that. I can choose from here. And I think it's this. There we go. And... Alright, perfect. Now let's keep going. So yeah, that's... 
Yeah, with this assist, the shadow assist, it should be a lot easier to set up. Because I, I was expecting it to be anti-air. Like, they're in the air and, oh crap, I can do something about it. They're at a distance, anti-air, I'm fortune. I mean, fiber is a good idea too, but I wasn't in the best position for it. And now we can go. Once again, time to join a room. Okay. I do hope the Bale of DLC does come to Steam sooner rather than later. Apparently they're waiting for it to be on PSN and Sony's taking its sweet time. Surprisingly, the 360 patch came out first. Odd that. Although apparently that happened with Eliza too, but yeah, after the infamous two weeks incident, I'm surprised it's coming out first. Not that I really care, because like I said, I don't have any of those consoles. Which, once again, is why I've not really played any Bla Blaze Blue other than Continuum Shift. Or been able to play much Guilty Gear besides Axon Core Plus. Or Sharp Reload. <sighs> also, why is it taking forever to join a room? Seems like there are plenty of people online. Why is there... Everyone who's on my friends list must be playing in lobbies. They must not be playing in Quick Match. Oh yeah, that's, that's exactly what's happening. Well, normally quick matches are a bit better. Oh, there we go. Okay, perfect. We've once again gone back to quick match. And a new person, Hardy Snicker. Not familiar with them. Hopefully things will work out a bit better. Now that I have my assists all the way I expect them to be. Ladies and gentlemen, it's all right. showtime. Oh, what? I did not expect that. I did not. I got crossed up and I just missed it. What? Oh, I thought I was blocking. What the? Oh, come on! I'm doing a Z motion. Register my Z motion. I <laughs> my finger slipped. I, seriously, my finger actually slipped off the stick as I did that. That's just perfect. Okay, I don't know why my hand is so sweaty right now. Well, it's not that sweaty, but it's sweaty enough. There we go, get a shot in. There we go! Oh! Did not expect that armor. Okay, I think I've lost. Yeah, I've probably lost Buko here. Darn. I didn't even know you could DHC into level 5. I might have to double check the rules for DHCing into level 5, because logically that should be impossible since you don't have 6 bars of tension, but at the same time, that just happened. So I'm assuming if you have 4 on a super, then it counts for level 5. Maybe that works for level 3s as well. I don't think so, though. I think you need to have 4 bars to get level 3s DHC'd into. Did they not reorder the stages? Oh, right! I'm trying to get to RoboFortune stage and then we're not playing beta. Man, a lot of fortune players tonight. Oops. That's not what I wanted. Why are my Zeds not coming out? Although, given that I literally had my hand slip on the stick. Now it's just a bad day, apparently. <sighs> it's not that hot out. Okay, this is getting really weird. Oops. 
Oh, come on. Why can't I get this? Oh, that's just perfect. <sighs> Seriously, I don't know why my hands are falling off of my stick. I'm almost considering putting something like felt or something on here. Just make sure that my hands do not fall off the bloody thing. I normally don't have particularly sweaty hands, but then again, I am wearing a sweater and it's probably about, I don't know, 10, 15 degrees Celsius, I'm guessing. I get cold easily. But it's to feel cold. It's more that I find chill really, I'm really sensitive to cold, so any chills in my arms just really hurt. But at the same time, it means that I'm probably overheating myself and so I'm sweating slightly as a result. <sighs> Why am I going into great detail about this? Possibly because I've got nothing really to say about the way I'm playing, since the way I'm playing is terrible. Darn it. As usual, I accidentally throw my head. I never want to do that. That was just a cross- I hate when the get crossed up like that. What the- How did I not hit? Ah, this time just off. I hate playing headless. I've mentioned before, if I'm playing headless, it's because I made an input error. That's pretty much the only reason I ever played. Oh, Elizabeth. <laughs> yeah, Persona 4 Arena being another game that I played because of friends, not because I have a console. Because once again, Arxis seems to forget that. And apparently, this is not just me being facetious. Arxis, as apparently, doesn't quite totally realize that Steam is a platform for fighting games. <sighs> play this game. I don't know why I'm screwing up. At least I'm blocking more. That's one thing. Yeah, I do like the fact that there are new colors, but none of the new colors are really going to win me over from my current colors. Mm. Oh, right. Yeah, that's RoboFortune. Silly. Okay, let's see if I can figure this out now, if I actually get this right. Ow. I've never seen someone go for super that early. What the? There we go. Finally get something off. Oh, that's an interesting ender. That's actually a pretty good ender, come to think of it. Not the best ender, if I can't do a Drill Super. Drill Super really is the best one, but I get... Hooray! I finally got a win! Awesome. Managed to hold my stick so that it doesn't, my hands does not fall off the stick. Not my arms. My hands are firmly attached to my body, don't worry. Unlike my mane, I am actually rather intact. Although, admittedly, in her case, she can reattach them, so I suppose that's actually an advantage. We could get another person joining. Yeah, having actually my stick, my hand on the stick, means that I can actually perform moves. It's very helpful because most of the moves require directional input before pressing another button. Otherwise, normals will pop out. Why? This is getting weird. I'm sure there are lots of people playing, but I don't know how many... Okay, there we go. Unless people are just waiting for the actual Beowulf update, the actual Beowulf DLC download, which does not exist yet on Steam. As I mentioned before, kind of wish it did. To pull myself together. Not that I haven't actually shown Beowulf yet. I think last time I did this, I, I was playing beta last time. Oh wait, I'm Parasol, right. Okay, nope, not what I want. Oh, Parasol and Pain Wheel? My goodness, tailor-made to be my 
Nemesis. All the characters I can't, I have a hard time fighting against. Yeah, that was bad. I can't stand funny. Well, Parasol's actually okay. I'm surprised I'm having such a hard time against her right now. But Pain Wheel... Pain Wheel's usually more of a pain in the butt. It's actually surprising how... Oh, what? Okay. Messed up Tech Chase, but that's... <sighs> I almost got it first right there. Well, maybe not quite a bait. I don't know if that was quite a burst bait. It was a burst opportunity for them, but... Oh, come on, I didn't attack. They're gonna tag out. Nope. Even DHC, what the heck? That was surprising. I thought they would... D I was expecting them to DHC on that one. Ah, right. Because I need to go... to crouch for that one. I'm trying to remember which characters I need to use the standing, and which I need to use crouching medium kick in order to connect the combo. Pain Wheel is one of the crouchers. If I can get my jump cancels, that would work! What? Oh, that's high. Who's Bob Butsink? I'm sorry, someone in my chat is saying something about someone whose name is probably someone I know. Knowing that name is probably POS. What's POS's current name? Oh, I don't know. Well, I might know them. It might be POS Industries. That might be who Bob Budsing is. There's a few people I think it could be. POS Industries is the most likely option, though. But I don't know why he'd, popul why he'd advertise my stream. I'm... Oh, maybe that's Fake Angel. Because Fake Angel was watching this. And asked if you want if I could play him, but then or play them, but then again they turned out to be too far away, apparently. I don't know. Right. I don't know. Oh. Bath of Segment Bloody. Which has new music. Everybody, mind your I have never heard of this music before. Ah, oh, time that wrong. There, there are better resets. <laughs> As in actual resets. That was not a reset. That was just me stopping. That was me not going for the super because I didn't want to waste the two bars of meter that I'd need to use to DHC because I just got my character in a place that's really bad. And yes, I have tried Beowulf in the beta. I haven't tried. I mean, this is the same update effectively. Oh, what? Just input of the super. Yeah, this is effectively the same update. Wow, this is terrible. <sighs> yeah, he's he's in the beta. I played him a bit. I'm not a grapp I'm not one who plays grapplers, so I don't really know how he how he plays out compared to others. Ugh! That was a terrible match. Yeah, I did everything wrong. Sorry. But yeah, Beowulf is not a character I will likely be maining. Seems interesting though, I really like the concept, and I think that... I know if... I know of some people who would really like to play Beowulf. Like, I have... one of my cousins who might, and I don't know if they're gonna end up playing this game at all, they want to try it out at some point. But, they seem interesting in... they seem interested in Beowulf and they generally like grapplers, they're... big fans of characters like Tyzok and King of Fighters, Tyzok and Clark. So, it's... I mean... Not really that related, since Skullgirl's characters are just really weird and different. Oh, how am I not... Oh, okay, that that I can follow up on. Just really hard to hit confirm that one. You gotta basically hit confirm. You have to guess your hit confirm on that one. Crap. I'm distracted. Okay, one sec. Oh, thanks a lot, Bella. I can't think. I don't know why I can't think. Sorry, this is really hard for me to... Okay, there we go. Got... Nope. I hate fighting Parasol. Finally, but it's too late now. Might as well just lose. 
<sighs> okay, let's try another match. I don't know why I'm screwing this up. I can't think today for some reason. What was I even talking about? Oh yeah, right, yeah, so I don't know if my... One of my cousins who really like Grapplers. Although they also really like... Well, I think they'd probably go for a Peacock Parasol and either Beowulf or Cerebella team if they were to play, ultimately. Because that is the sort of characters they like to play. They like to play Trixie characters like Faust they like to, or Venom. Well, sorry, Trixie characters like Faust, Charge characters like Venom, or Grapplers like Tyzok or Ralph. And yes, I just referenced Guilty Gear and then King of Fighters. Me and my group of friends have played a lot of fighting games, but... I stick, I've stuck more to the Air Dashers than they have. A lot of them really moved on to King of Fighters, although even though we don't play a lot of fighting games recently. Which sucks. But that's how it goes, I suppose. I mean, at least I have Skullgirls, which can be played online and has really good netcode. I actually probably should have taken that 216 match, because... You can play decently well, even if you're playing across the Atlantic or Pacific Oceans. I played Ice Wolves the other day, and they're in Germany. That was mostly fine. It was a bit choppy, a bit wonky at times, but it was generally okay. I'm ready to pound. Sheesh. All the fortunes. Quiet on the set. Action. Come on. Oh, what? That's the DHC timing. But well, whatever. Raw tag instead. Ah, why did I do that? Odd head call. Oh, come on. There we go. And an assist kill. Now you're cooking with gas. I'm, I'm surprised there are so many fortune players. I don't necessarily mind, it's just... I didn't realize she was so popular. All these people I don't know, I can just guess that everyone I don't know is going to be playing fortune. Possibly solo fortune. And yes, GGPO is awesome netcode. All 2D fighters should be using it. I don't know why they aren't. Well, I, okay, I kind of know why they aren't. It's from cultural reasons, but... Yeah, I don't know. They really shouldn't be. Seriously. Bring it on. GGPO is awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, it's or really any sort of rollback netcode. GGPO has just done half the work for you. That's the advantage of that. Oh, come on. Seriously? Disconnect on me. Great. Just perfect. Such a good start, too. No, I'm still connected to the internet. The stream is still going, I think. No, I'm still connected. We're good. Wait, no, I can play that. I can play those. Those are fine. Whatever. Albus, Horus, I shouldn't be and now Eliza Bella. This will be Ladies interesting. <laughs> Oh, that was not what I wanted. Down kick, not up kick. Oh, whatever, that gives me a bit of room. I don't know why, why am I using a light kick in midair? That's medium punches was using midair. I know, I realize this isn't the best combo for resets, but it's not for resets. For a DHC setup. Oh, wait, that was... I was supposed to air throw up that. That. Yeah, I gotta be honest, I don't really know a lot of my resets. Oh. Okay. I believe that's an anti air. I think they were expecting me to go for a jump heavy kick, a jump and heavy kick, which. Is a reasonable expectation, it's like they played me before, but at the same time, I don't think that happened. But reasonable that expectation may be, they'd be kind of silly to do that, especially given that that just happened. 
Ah, crap, I thought I'd get that. Okay, got rid of Bella. Let's see what I can do here. Well, I can get hit. That's always a bad thing. Ah, that's... Okay, I don't think I could have done much against that other than blind re throw. There we go. Yeah, the normal thing for Fortune is yes. As soon as we prison net code, I disconnect. Uh, the thing with Fortune is that she's got your fire bloops are apparently better, and I've been trying to practice those. But if I know that I have two bars to super and I just want to get in a DHC combo so I can switch to Fuqua to have her finish, that's oh, they apparently got Beowulf. Oh, did Beowulf just get put on? Okay, cool. I should check that. I guess the Beowulf DLC just got put on after I started the stream. Because that's... I did not see it when I started the stream. So we finally have Beowulf on retail in a stream, and I'm getting my butt kicked. Why did I... Oh, right, because I forgot. I to... See, that's one of the things... I was actually mentioning Blaze Blue earlier in Guild Gear as well. Yeah, it's one of the reasons why I seem to push a lot of buttons, I realized, is that I keep forgetting Skullgirls is not a game that has air techs as part of its repertoire. You can't tech moves, in, you can't get out of the knockback or hit stun or whatever in midair. You can do it once you land on the ground, like so. Ow. But you can't do it in midair. And it's really important. Crap, I'm gonna get thrown. Yep. Oh, yes, they missed the chair. So, yeah, if, for those who don't know, Bale's chair causes a lot of damage to be dealt if you connect with certain of his throws. Come on. But not all of them. It's the any of them that use kick. That's one of them, though. And if that hit the chair, it would be dealing a lot more damage. It might actually have knocked out Fuqua at this point. <sighs> Why is that... Oh, well, dead on time to death. So yeah, Bale's first appearance is look at he looks really powerful. Yeah. Well, am I gonna be against the same person again? Are we gonna have a tiebreaker? Because that was one and one so far. And the answer is me. Oh yes, actually the answer is yes. That's exactly what happened. What's happening? Uh, okay. Time to pull myself together. Oh, back to Lizabella. It all depends on your skill. Showtime! Ah, that was not. Once again, my Zeds get screwed up. Ah, crap! I didn't realize I was push blocks until right after I did that. Wow, that was supposed to be a bait. What am I thinking? Okay, okay, I've gotta... I, I guess i got to just bring it back with Fuqua. I can't... Fortune's out again. As usual, either Fortune gets a hit in and I can DHC out, or Fortune gets hit and I have to rely on Fuqua to r run it back. Not that she can't, it's just that I have to rely on that. Which... Uh, hit again? Okay, I'm getting... starting to get pissed. This is not good. Because then I start... Just pressing buttons, and that's always a bad thing. Except when they're gonna hit. Oh, wait, that could have been a level 3. Wow, I don't know what is wrong with me right now. I beat this person, I just won against this person. I don't know why I'm having a hard time. Why is this so hard? I decisively won the first time, and now I'm just getting completely destroyed. Well, I suppose the large part of it is that Fortune hasn't had a chance to hit. And then I just lose momentum and die. <sighs> so, yeah, like I said before, this is kind of more of a training diary thing than it is a... Here, watch me be awesome thing, because I'm not particularly awesome. I mean, I'm sort of kind of practicing for Combo Breaker, which I am going to in May. Possibly going to... Probably going to go to Evo as well, but Evo seems like it's kind of a small thing for Skullgirls now. 
what with Combo Breaker basically being one of the, having Skullgirls is one of the biggest events currently by registrants, which is a pleasant surprise. What? The, oh, right, that's the thing. See, there's a reason I don't play like grapplers. And it's because in Guild Gear, you have to use forward heavy slash in order to throw, and that's actually a bit of a pain to do reliably, I find. Well, okay, that and the fact that I played Jam and Million, they both have really short throw range. So getting a throw off is really hard. Oh, crap. Oh, what? That was a corner setup. I threw it away. Ow. That was close. Thankfully, in Skullgirls, throwing is actually really easy. It's just light punch, light kick. And yeah, it's actually more the fact that the throw range is low. I mean, King of Fighters is the same throw setup, and I actually find that fairly easy to do throws in. Well, O2 and Limited Mesh does. I think they all do, but I know O2 and Limited Mesh definitely does, and that I find no problem with. Wow. That... that goes under? I oh, the hitbox would hit. Okay, that's... Wait, I just need to... Wow, seriously, one hit! One hit, and I'll... Like that! Like a crouching light kick. A crouching light kick will do the trick. Like, all I need is one hit. All they need to do is dodge. I just need to, you know, actually try to win. It's not even a matter of being lucky, it's just a matter of, oh yeah, I can hit, let's swing. Oh, this person again, okay. Getting a lot of repeat matches. <sighs> oh yeah, and this is one of the levels that got upgraded lighting. I haven't seen actually how that pans out. I don't know if we will, because apparently my opponent decided to disconnect? Crash? Nice hairball. Well, we'll see. I don't know. Maybe they're still here. Everybody warmed up. Action. Go now. Uh, once again, I mess up my beds. <sighs> well, eventually I'll stop being hit. Like then. Since I can't Zed reliably, I don't see the point even trying when they're that close. I'm surprised I can't Zed reliably. I thought I could. That's one of those weird things where, like, if I give myself, if I allow myself to breathe and actually space the inputs a bit in the move, it works fine. It works fine. But if I start panicking, it doesn't. It's like I need to be able to do stuff when I'm panicking. I'm panicking all the time. It's like if there's anything to describe my. The heck? Down the back punch is the double two super. What the heck? But yeah, if there's anything that describes my general attitude towards things, it's panic. Uh. Yep. Oh, tag out. Tag out's throw invincible? I guess it would be. Down the back punch. Hmm. Player two wins. Yeah, I don't know why. Still not quite used to where the positions are exactly when it comes to Zeds. Oh, this guy again. Or this person again. I don't know that they're male. Okay. So I think I'll make this the last one, and then Let's I'll, see even though I'll probably lose this one, but I've been losing most of them, so it's a bit of a theme tonight. I've been blocking more, but I'm still losing. Well, at least I got that start I was trying to do the whole time. Oh yeah, and this time I actually have my proper... Ah, oh, darn it. 
Ow. Which head's mine? <laughs> I can't figure that out. That would be why I'm having a hard time actually doing anything right now. I don't know which head is my own. Oh, I actually still have quite a bit of health here. I just need to get my head back at some point. I don't know how I'm going to do that against a fortune filia combo. Oh, why'd I go up? That was a bad read. I know they're on the ground. They're probably going to go for a ground combo. And I'm... I'm going to lose... Fukua. I'm going to get dhc right now. Yep, there's a the DHC. Up to... Yeah, darn it. Goes, there goes my comeback. Headless Fortune when I can't play Headless Fortune and I don't have my Fuqua. Fuqua is my comeback tool. I cannot get to make a comeback without Fuqua. I don't think I've ever made a comeback with... Maybe once or twice I made a comeback with Fortune, but... I've, yeah. <sighs> Lost Fuqua and that's... I can't believe I... How was I not able to take advantage of that Undizzy? I was at full Undizzy that entire time. That didn't make sense. Oops. Eh, whatever. Let's do one more. I still don't understand how it is... I, full Undizzy. When it's full and dizzy and someone starts a new string, you're supposed to be able to burst out of it immediately. That's what I was told. That's the impression I had. Why did that not happen? My undizzy bar was just full of... Unless they were just really clever about letting it drain just a bit. I'm still surprised I got that throw reset off. That thing's actually really risky to do. It's okay after drill super, but on its own I find it's really risky. Down forward. Great. There we go. Into DHC and into Fuqua. What? Okay, that's not working. Ow. Darn it. So the thing about Fuku was that she doesn't have very good zoning abilities, all things considered. Like, it's really hard, to, I find, to push people away enough that you can actually safely use shadows or ball or fireballs. Fireballs are a bit safer, but shadows, no. And once again, I lose Fuku. This game is over. Maybe. I have head on my... For my fortune's head is on, so at least it's not completely hopeless. But yeah. It's like, that is the one thing. I actually do have my head on. Yes, I managed to make that combo work. Darn it, it's Zed. Zed, not just down. But yeah, I've been actually trying to make that combo work where you use Fiverr in the second iteration like after the first after the first Rekka. Like after Rekka and then down kick, using Fiverr after that. Come on, kill! Aw, oh, darn it. I thought I would kill. Darn it. No. I didn't want to lose that. It's so hard to use a stupid head while blocking. Okay, good. Kill the character. Put my head back on. Put my head back on. Oh, darn. I missed. Okay. Come on! Yes! Yes! I managed to get it! Sliver of health! End on a win! End on a close win, but a win nonetheless. Fuqua did enough work. Phew! Okay. I think that's a great place to end it. Thank you all for watching. Have a good night, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that. And as usual, tomorrow will be zero K. Because that's what I do on Saturday afternoons. For those of you not familiar with my general casting schedule, Fridays I don't do as often as I probably should, but 0k is always Saturdays and sometimes Wednesdays. There's almost always something Wednesdays, usually 0k, sometimes other stuff. And then Fridays is usually Skullgirls. 
Sometimes nothing. Actually, fairly often nothing, historically speaking. But I've been trying to get more regular schedule. Anyway, thank you for watching once again, and happy good night, everyone.